Welcome back, Dylan here. Anytime you're working on a Tesla or any vehicle, it's always best to disconnect your battery. Leaving it connected can cause shorts in modules and components, which can lead them to fail and potentially leave your vehicle inoperable. Now, generally when working on a Tesla, you only have to disconnect the low voltage system, which controls things like your screens, lights, and seats, and things like that. You generally never have to touch the drive batteries. So today we're going to show you how to disconnect the low voltage 12 volt system in your Tesla Model 3. Now if you haven't heard, Beamer Tech is expanding, we're entering a new chapter and part of that is including Teslas. Now rest assured we're still the same company you've come to know and love and will always continue to develop products for BMWs, Minis and Supras. But enough about that, if you want to learn more about the expansion, go check out the links in the description of this video. But for now, let's disconnect the low voltage system in this Tesla Model 3. Before you do anything with an airbag or electronics, you need to make sure you disconnect the battery. First, start by opening all of the doors and lower the windows. This will ensure you don't lock yourself out of your car. If you want, you could tie a towel around the door latch on the body of the car to prevent the door from closing. Next, open the frunk. After it's open, grab onto this panel and pull. The fasteners will pop free. Locate the 12 volt battery and with a 10 millimeter socket, remove the negative battery terminal and set it aside. Do not close the frunk. The last part is in the back seat. Head to the seat and push forward on the disconnect lever to lift one side of the seat up. Here's a close up of what this looks like. Do this on both sides. On the passenger side, remove this foam insulator and locate this connector here. Press the center gray tab aside and the gray latch will rotate and disconnect. Set this aside and the low voltage system will officially be disconnected. To finish up, let's reconnect the low voltage system. On the passenger side of the rear seat with the gray arm out, push down the connector and rotate the arm to lock it into place. Replace the foam insulator. When bringing your seat back down, ensure the seat belt connectors are still where they need to be. Do this on both sides. Back up front, reconnect the negative battery terminal with a 10 millimeter socket. Line up the cover panel and press down to lock it into place. To finish up, close the frunk Close the doors and roll up the windows. And that is how you disconnect the 12 volt low voltage system in your Tesla Model 3. We hope you found that video helpful. What other instructional videos would you like to see us do for the Tesla Model 3? Let us know in the comments below. But as always, for more tips and tricks, product reviews, and so much more for now, Teslas, BMWs, Minis, and Supras, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. But if you want to be first to know what's happening around here, then head on over to our website, link in the description, to sign up for our newsletter. And hey, make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.